Hello everyone, welcome to Harry B's Creative Minds Tech Channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how to create um, an animated and interactive um, PowerPoint uh, slides. First of all, you can see that we're in PowerPoint. I would suggest uh, we start with a blank presentation. Um, and although when you open it up, it de click defaults to this, what you want to do is go to blank, delete the first one. And the first blank um, page is going to be your content page. So if you go to text, call it your content page, content, and then just increase that to, you know, 34, bold, underline. So we know this is your content page. Um, secondly, we will now um, add in um, a number of pages, pages one to 10. And we will make um, those will be the outline basis of your um, content. So if we click on the text editor, click type in page one. And the idea is that we're going to create about 10 pages. Page two, just align, control V, retain that to page three, <laughs> control V, page four, control V, page five, control V, Page six, just align page one properly. Control V, page seven, Control V, page eight, Control V. Page nine. Right, so now we have 10 pages in total. And um, these are the pages of your content page. And um, what we want now is we want to make all these pages to be clickable and um, interactive. Um, want to do put an animation on the um, page, pages. <clears throat> And we select all of them by doing uh, shift, hold down the shift and then select all, as you can see if I've selected them, then you go to transitions, um, actually animations. And then you need to think about how you want um, the, the text of these pages to be uh, animated. Do you want them to have like a fade? Click on fade. Do you want them to float in? Do you want them to split? Um, wipe, shape, wheel. Um, I'll click down the drop down area. You've got like bounds. This is what the text does. So there's several things you can do to, you know, make the entrance of the uh, text. Um, and I would say what we will do is we're just going to have flying for this uh, purpose. Next, um, what we want to do is we want to curate the content of these pages. Um, but before we do that, we will make sure that um, everything by controlling and shift, we need to highlight all the pages. Now that we've selected the fly-in, we want to make sure that when you click on any of the pages, then it will be activated and it's already on, on click already. So you can see all these will be activated with on click. 
And the next thing we do is we have to create the content of these pages, pages one to 10. And what we'll do is we'll do insert. And then actually we go to file, new slide, and it's best to choose one with title only. Um, and then we'll just do page one. Then we duplicate, go to page two. Duplicate page three, duplicate page four, duplicate page five, duplicate page six, duplicate page seven, duplicate page eight, duplicate page nine, duplicate page 10. Keep in mind, you are able to, if you know PowerPoint quite well, if you want to, you can change the background color. Um, but for the purpose of this demo, I'm just gonna keep them as uh, white for all my pages. So I've got page one to 10. And what I want to do now is I want to link my text on my content page to each one of these pages. So page one will link to page one, page two to page two, and so on and so forth. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So the uh, what to do that will highlight page one, click on link, then click on place link in this document and I'll click on page one and then page one will link to page one and click on okay. And then we're gonna do the same for everything up to page 10. And we'll do the same for page three. Remember to highlight the page, number, the text. Click on link again. Go to six. Click on link. Highlight page, the text page eight. Click on link. And finally, page 10, highlight, click on 10, click on OK. So all these pages should now link through to each one of these. And to test that out, you click on the slideshow. And if you click on the arrow, down arrow, which is um, just to the right of your keyboard near page up and page down, if you click on the down arrow, you see page one come up. Click on down arrow page two, and this is the um, animation that's showing where the page just drops in the text, page seven, page eight, page nine, and page 10. And now we're gonna click on one of them just to make sure that we can link back to that page. And you can see you link back to that page. And if you press escape, you go back to your content page again. The next thing that we want to do is we want to be able to um, link back from the individual pages to the content page. And the way to do that is we need to add in a shape and link that shape to the content page. So when you're presenting, 
um, there's a way for you to get back from page one, two, three, four, five, or six easily to the content page without having to press escape. And that's the purpose of this exercise. So you can select any shape and make it into um, a link. But for this exercise, I'm going to choose an action button. I'll click the action button. I'll just uh, put it here at the corner. And straight away, you can see mouse click and mouse over. You can see action on click, non hyperlink. And what you want to do is click the drop down button, drop down menu and select slide. And I want this to link back to slide one, which you can see here. And that's a preview of it and press OK. If you want to change the color of the slide, you can. And all you need to do is double click. And then you can see the fill here. You can choose whatever you want. I'll choose green. So page one should link back to um, the content page. And then you want to repeat that process for all the other pages. And to do that, um, the easiest way to do it is just to do a copy and paste, do a copy. And then you do control on your keyboard and V. Go to the next page, control and V. Keep in mind, it's already copying across that link, control and V, page five, all the way, page seven. Control and V, control and V, control and V. And we want to test this out to make sure that it works. So we click on the slideshow. And if I click on the green button, it takes me back to the content page. And if you put the down arrow, you'll see the fly-in of the uh, text numbers. If I click on page seven, and if I click on the button, it takes you back to the content page. If I click on page four, it takes you back to the content page. So that bit is done. The final piece that I'd like to show you is I want to add in a transition onto my slides. And to do that, I'm going to do control um, and highlight all my um, slides. So that's control and shift. And then I'm going to click on transitions. And there's quite a number of transitions that you can use. I'll just click on the drop down menu. Um, you can use all over, um, drape, curtains, and this will apply to all the slides. So when you're going through your presentation, this would be one of the things you could use. You could use honeycomb, ripple, various things, blinds. These are the effects that it has. Switch, very nice. So page 10. So for my purpose of this presentation, I'm just gonna choose aeroplane because that's just what I want to use. Click on that. I've applied it to all of the slides and um, just click on save and just save that so you don't lose the work. And then if you want to make sure that it works, click on the presentation. You can see the aeroplane effect. Click on your down arrow and you can see page nine as well. Up arrow, page eight, you can see the aeroplane effect happening. And that's the transition that's been applied to your PowerPoint presentations. So these are a couple of simple and easy um, things to do um, to have an interactive presentation. You create your content page, then you add your pages one to 10, link them through so you can link from the content page to your individual pages. And we also created a um, button which when you click on, it'll take you back to the content page. Then thirdly, we selected all the slides and we added a transition. And you can see the types of transitions that are available. You've got curtain all the way to dissolve. And if you press the drop down, 
there's many things that you can apply. Um, so yeah, this is, um, I hope you found this tutorial um, useful or you could apply it to your PowerPoint presentations or whatever you do in your daily lives. Um, please um, add or send me some feedback and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and I hope you find this useful. Thank you very much um, for watching my um, for watching my presentation on how to create an interactive PowerPoint slide. Thank you.